Okay, so <laughs> crazy. You is it is it still bad? No, it's good now. Okay, so the first time like I actually heard about fertility charting was through you. Mm -hmm. We were sitting in the car. We'd been just arguing yeah. about like I don't even remember. That's where we have a lot of our like talks. <laughs> is it? One yeah. of our cars in the parking lot outside of our house. It's a good place for talking. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I'd been complaining about, you know, like my migraines and like the acne and other side effects from the pill. And yeah. I was worried about kind of being on it, but I felt like I didn't have a choice. I can't remember exactly what you said, but you were like, I heard about this thing in Catholic boarding school. Yeah. And I was just like... Well, I brought up, like, we were dating for about a year, and I was like, well, if we ever get married, I would like to try this thing that I heard about in boarding school uh, called natural family planning. Like, it's all natural, and it's like 99.4% effective. Do you remember my reaction? Yeah. What was my reaction? You were like, what, Kyle? No, I know what that is. That's like the rhythm method, and it's like 73% effective. That's true. I did. I thought it was the rhythm method. Yeah. And so I... Like, the rhythm method is not effective, Kyle. Like, those were your words. I really thought, I mean, I didn't know. I had no idea that this was even like a viable option. <laughs> so I was angry at him. I was I was like, what are you, you know, yeah. like you don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, so it's like, here's these conflicting things like, oh, I hate my migraines, I hate my acne. Well, Cassie, like, try this thing. It's 99 foot forward effective. It's like all natural. Like, no, Kyle, like, no, that's the rhythm method. <laughs> 72% effective, well, like 55% effective. <laughs> also, you told me that... It's like 30% effective. <laughs> so then I, you know, did some research and looked into it, and he was right, and I didn't want to admit that. Yeah, well, you really, you really did that research. Like, I told you pretty much everything. Like, oh, it's 99.4% effective. Like, it's all natural. It helps couples with their relationship and communicating and what's going on with their cycle. And then you sort of, like... We're not having it, and then like you did this research, sort of like behind my back. Yeah, and then so like one day you were like, Kyle, like I want to go off the pill. <laughs> like I want to try this natural family thing. Yeah. And like I... it doesn't look that hard. Like I think all you have to do is like take your temperature, and like there's this little phone app for it. So after I decided to chart, I became obsessed. I would do all this research. I would read books. I would look online. I even started my own blog. I looked at my own community and met Laura Mensch, a sex health educator. Well, and I think we're really talking about the 30 plus years that I've been involved with this method. There was a lot of interest in the late 70s to mid 80s, and then fewer and fewer and fewer people. So I wanted to meet other women in my community who were interested in charting. I started a support group. I put up flyers, I advertised in businesses, and it wasn't very successful. But it got me thinking, if women don't know about this option, how can they be interested? So the question is, when you hear the word natural birth control, what comes to mind? Oh, I don't even know. What do you mean by natural? Like pulling out? So not like condoms or anything, because that's not like, so more like, I don't know. That's a good question. Would you ever consider something like that? Sounds like a lot of work. <laughs> yeah. So how much work is it really? I take my temperature in the morning when I wake up, and I monitor cervical fluid throughout the day. By looking at these two signs, I'm able to figure out my fertile and infertile phases. It's physically impossible to get pregnant outside the fertile window. So if your goal is to not get pregnant, you either avoid intercourse or use protection during that time. The first thing you need to chart is a basal body thermometer. It measures to the hundredth of a degree. For the actual charting, I use a phone app. Some people use paper charts, but I like always having it on my phone. The app I use is called Kandara. They're dedicated to making charting easy and accessible for women. Charting is no, is probably easier. Way easier. Way easier than brushing time. your teeth. The, the longest thing about that takes me to try my fertility is waiting for our fucking app to load. <laughs> I met up with Whitney, a Kandara user. It really is like nothing. Yeah. And it's so easy and so part of my life now, like I don't even think about it. So it's simple, effective, and essentially free and less than 1% of American women use it? I asked a nurse practitioner why she thought so few women use this method. Well, if you read the research, the efficacy rates are lower than oral contraceptives. Um, I think it goes along with the same reasoning why we don't promote condoms only, you know, because there's a lot of user failure. The way we use these methods effectively is we get good teaching and we are very careful to practice 
the method as we've been taught. For all methods, there's, a, there's an effectiveness rate that's typical, how regular people use it, and perfect. Sterilization, the typical and perfect are close together. The implant, you just have to, what you have to remember to do is get another one in, in three years. With an IUD, you have to remember to check for your string. With the pill, you have to remember to actually take the pill. More time on the user so the typical effectiveness goes down. So with natural family planning, fertility awareness methods, there's a lot that um, users have to do. But once you get it, um, no, it, it can change your life. Oh, that sounds fairly global or trite, but for women who really get what's happening in their cycles and their partners, it opens up this whole world of understanding about your body. And we can achieve this very perfect effectiveness rates with um, following the method carefully. Colleen is a certified fertility educator. She's dedicated to teaching women this method. Charting is not mathematical calculations. It is looking at your fertility science each day and answering the question, am I fertile? Most women, when they're talking about their reproductive health, they're going to their healthcare provider. Mm -hmm. And the majority of healthcare providers are not educated on the strong evidence and all the research studies that have been done about fertility awareness-based methods. Not to sound like a conspiracy theorist, but the for-profit medical system in the States means that therapies and solutions to problems that make a lot of money for the company that makes them tend to get pushed through to doctors and hospitals and, and that's what gets used. I think healthcare providers really feel responsible. Like I want to give a method to my patient that is going to work. When women come in and talk to me, I go over all the methods and ask them what their thoughts are and most of them don't want to go that route because they don't want to have to do that. The people I think who do well at charting are ones who are like, oh cool, look at all this cool stuff I can learn. And that's me. I know charting isn't for everyone, for either medical or lifestyle reasons, and I get that. But when I launched my website for this film, I received dozens of emails from women who were so thankful I was taking this project on. It reinforced for me why charting is the right choice for me. It's improved my health. It's not just about fertility, it's really about another indicator of your health. My relationship. I think that's what's most attractive to me about it, is it's uh brings up the communication factor. And empowered me with knowledge. I've never ever like been so in tune with myself. So, I mean, I can't, I'll never go back to not doing this. This is something that I'm gonna do the rest of my life. My only hope is that more women can become aware of this option and decide if it's right for them or not. Okay, so it's day one. Have my crew together. They're all male. I think they're gonna learn a lot. I think that's it'll be good for them. Bill and Cassie, and I'm gonna take one. So it's day four, first shooting day, and Cassie, what's this movie about? And this is my vulva pillow. <laughs> Yay! Uh. The consistency of the mucus. And I think now is the perfect time to bring up cervical fluid. <laughs> Creamy? I'm not sure if we're gonna talk about it in the dock yet or not. What? You have to talk about it in the dock! Cervical fluid, people hear that? I mean, my crew was like mortified <laughs> when they heard about cervical fluid. Egg white? I, I don't understand. Is it, is it mucus? Is it fluid? What is it? So you said these are the size of ovaries. Yep. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Unshelled so, almonds. That is just wild to and, me. And I always thought they were located like up here but really they're like down here. It's so cool, like I mean, it's awesome. Like I love that I can have sex without a condom and not worry about it at all. I bet your yeah. partner likes it too. Oh my God, yeah, like why not? You know, I think they're getting it. Yeah. Hmm.